and a strong community with a shared goal and a common purpose can make the impossible possible. Thank you very much. Would the clerk please call the roll? There are 15 present today. And all their person, Andy Schneider, is excused. Tonight we want to uh, recognize Jacob Hitman from Troop 818 at Immaculate Conception Church. Jacob has completed the requirements and has received his Eagle Scout Award at a Court of Honor ceremony held November 13th. Jacob, please come forward and it will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Jacob's Eagle Scout project was to renovate the Immaculate Conception Cemetery Chapel. This project included painting the exterior, interior, and altar. The floor was refinished, the pews were cleaned, and a small heater was installed so the chapel could be used in winter. Congratulations, Jacob, and thanks for joining us tonight. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes from our last council meeting. Alderperson Donahue. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I move to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Motion passes. There are no resignations tonight. Uh, next, we'll go on to mayor's appointments. City attorney. One set of appointments uh, from the mayor submitting the following appointments for your confirmation to the Sheboygan Squared Bid Board. Uh, Rick Scroggins, Amy Horst, Jane Davis Wood, Eileen Simmons, William Holbrook, Paul Rudnick, Ch Chad Pelishek, and Sarah Spicer for appointments uh, to expire on December 31, 2018. Those appointments will lie over till our next meeting. We'll move on to confirmation of mayor's appointments. City Attorney. First one is submitting the following appointment for your uh, consideration. Alec Bartoli to be considered for appointment to the Sustainable Sheboygan Task Force, whose term expires on April 23, 2016. <coughs> Next, submitting uh, the following appointments for your consideration. Michael Vandersteen and Chad Palaszczuk to be considered for appointments to the Sheboygan Area Tourism Commission for the term January 1, 2017 to December 31, 2017. And submitting the following appointment for your consideration. Paul Rudnick to be considered for appointment to the Sheboygan Squared Bid Board to fill the unexpired term of Jake Toman, whose term expires on December 31, 2016. Alderperson Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. I move to confirm. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Item 1.7 is a presentation on Sheboygan Soup. And tonight is, uh, joining us tonight is Amanda Salazar to educate us on Sheboygan Soup. All right, give me a second here. I've got to move it way down. <laughs> All right, um, well, first I'd like to say thank you to uh, Mayor Vandersteen for having me here tonight. I'm really excited to um, present this um, Sheboygan soup concept that myself and a few other volunteers have been working on um, for the last, I'd say, about six months um, to really kind of kick this off the ground. So to give you an idea of what soup is, um, soup is, um, at its core, is a community-based crowdfunding dinner. Uh, Sheboygan Soup is organized by volunteers who care about Sheboygan and who want to help the community feel empowered to improve the city which we live in. Um, the soup concept isn't new, I'll tell you. Um, I heard about it first at a uh, young professional summit that I attended about a year ago. Uh, Detroit's been doing this, Austin's doing it, La Crosse just picked it up, Green Bay is doing it as well. Um, and the idea is, is soup, Sheboygan Soup isn't the grant funder, but our job is to plan an event that creates a place for people to gather and share ideas in a safe environment. Um, the community and the participants in soup decide which project will receive funding. So just to kind of talk to you a little bit about how soup works. Um, so the first phase is the planning phase. Um, basically the soup organizers, which is we're all volunteers, we all have full-time jobs, so we're doing this on Friday mornings for an hour at Paradigm. Um, but we kind of come together and we are marketing the dinner. We did an open house um, about at the end of October and we had 
just through us inviting, each, each volunteer invited five, um, and we had an attendance of over 40 plus uh, to the open house. And it really was just an open house, a concept of sharing ideas, and really talking about how can we empower our community um, to really collaborate together and create projects that maybe haven't been presented, um, or are things that maybe we haven't thought of. So we want all walks of life, all different backgrounds. It's just a really even, uh, open playing field for a community just to engage and to talk about positive change. Right. Um, the second phase is a proposal phase. So Sheboygan Soup will solicit um, submissions and collect proposals um, that will also seek approval through a committee that we're putting together. Um, so we hope to have some uh, key people to really making sure that these projects, one, are feasible, um, and two, uh, to really make sure that they're the person proposing the project understands how much money they actually it really requires. Right. Not that someone. Uh, for example, someone wrote down, can we recreate the zoo? Okay, that's thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, but it's just really helping the community understand what it takes to make some of these projects happen, but also to provide a platform for them to share ideas that they have. Um, the third phase is the proposal selection. So we'll select five volunteers. Four proposals will be selected, and those proposals will be presented at the dinner-based um, Based, the dinner that is, sorry, the four proposals will be uh, presented at the dinner, um, and they will be, the, everyone who attends the dinner, it's a donation, a suggested donation of $5 or more. Um, we will have soup provided, of course, that's where the soup plays in. Um, soup will be provided, and uh, everyone will have an access to vote once. Um, and then the proposal that receives the most votes will then move forward um, and receive all the money that um, we make that day, that evening at the dinner. Um, and then th after that, the volunteers will ensure the success of the selected project and the keep the community in the loop um, of how the projects are moving forward. Um, so we are, I hope that this is shared with all of um, anyone that you know that's interested. I hope that you're able to attend this dinner. We're looking at April 27th, which is a Thursday. Um, it is, uh, we still haven't found a location quite yet because we are hoping that we have 300 plus that will attend the dinner. Um, and we're hoping to really kick off this platform so that it is an annual thing that we kind of do um, and it really helps kind of empower your community. I will say as a young professional myself, um, there are se there's eight of us total. Um, uh, the seven others that I work with um, all feel the same that I do. We all work here, we live here, we play here, um, and we also want to participate and make better change. Um, but it would be honored to have your faces there as well so you can kind of hear the impact um, that these projects can make and, and how sh the, your community members want to make a change. So um, that's all I have. Amanda, thank you very much for your presentation tonight, and we really appreciate the work that you and the soup committee is doing here in Sheboygan. Yeah, great, thank you. I look forward to seeing you all in April. Next, I'd like to have the um, Sheboygan Squared Business District uh, Manager Dave Hoffman come forward. We have a proclamation. Whereas the government of Sheboygan, Wisconsin celebrates our local small businesses and the contributions that they make to our local economy and our community, according to the United States Small Business Administration, there are currently 28.8 million small businesses in the United States. They represent 99.7% of all businesses with employees in the United States and are responsible for 63% of the net new jobs created over the past 20 years. And whereas small businesses employ over 49% of all businesses with employees in the United States, and whereas 89% of customers in the United States agree that small businesses contribute positively to the local economy by supplying jobs and generating tax revenue, and whereas 93% of consumers in the United States agree that small businesses are critical to the overall economic health of the United States, and whereas Sheboygan, Wisconsin supports our local businesses that create jobs, boost our local economy, and preserve our neighborhoods, and whereas advocacy groups as well as private and public organizations across the country have endorsed the Saturday after Thanksgiving is Small Business Saturday. I, Mike Vandersteen, Mayor of the City of Sheboygan, do hereby proclaim November 26th as Small Business Saturday. Dave, I'd like to present this to you. And do you have any words? 
Shop Sheboygan, there's no place like home. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much. A uh, couple other announcements. Uh, there's going to be an open house on Wednesday, 1130. That's going to be at 6 o'clock at the Senior Activity Center. And that open house is going to be for the purpose of uh, presenting the draft strategic plan that staff and aldermen have been working on recently. Uh, we're looking for some feedback and input from the community, and this will be their opportunity to deliver that. Uh, we also want to tell people that fall leaf collection ended as of last Friday. However, we will have a crew that will be out doing some additional cleanup. It will make one pass each week through the community. It may not be on exactly the same schedule as your normal leaf pickup, but uh, if you miss that or if you're motivated to, to take your leaves down to the drop-off site, we'd really appreciate it because we only have a partial crew that's out to do this last cleanup. All the other trucks are being converted to uh, ice and snow removal, uh, so we have to be ready to deal with that when that part of winter shows up. Thank you. Okay, next we'll move on to the consent agenda. That'll include items 2.2 through, through 2.22. Alderperson Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. I move to accept and file all reports of officers, accept and adopt all reports of committees, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on any of the items in the consent agenda? Alderperson Bourne. Thank you, Mayor. On uh, 2.7, having to do with the uh, fire rings, uh, it's my understanding that this is just filing the original document and that the fire rings will continue as in the past. Is that, is that a correct understanding? This is just filing. That's, that's correct. All right, thank you. Any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage. Fifteen eyes. Motion passes. Um, section three is reports of officers. Items 3.1 through 3.4 will be referred to various committees. Under resolutions, 4.1 is a resolution by Alderperson Bellinger authorizing the emergency repair and reconstruction of the sanitary sewer main on South 27th Street between Fairway Drive and Jefferson Avenue. Alderperson Bellinger. Thank you, Mayor. I would move to suspend. Second. Thank you for that uh, motion. Is there any objection to suspension? Please proceed. Uh, the reason for the suspension is that during routine inspection of this water main, it was determined that it was in extremely poor condition, uh, collapsing and infiltrating, and it would not last through the winter, and uh, immediate emergency repairs are required to address it, and that's the reason for the suspension. And with that, I would move to pass the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Fourteen ayes, one no. Motion passes. Items 4.2 uh, through 4.10 will be referred to various committees. Under reports of committees, item 5.1 is an RC by finance to whom was referred RO number 153 of 1617 by the Water <laughs> Board of Water Commissioners seeking a small parcel of 2.5 acres of vacant land in order to construct an elevated water storage tank in 2018 and recommends the request and the attached counter offer. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to accept and adopt. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? <clears throat> Fifteen eyes, one no. 
15 ayes. Motion passes. Item 5.2 is an RC by law and licensing to whom was referred RO number 116 of 1617 by the city clerk submitting various licenses and recommends denying taxicab license number 1486 based upon her failure to accurately review all relevant convictions on her application, her record of violations related to the licensed activity, and her record as a repeat law offender and failure to cooperate with the committee. Alderperson Holshue. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Under discussion? Is Lachelle Tatum here? She is not here. She's been invited to the committee. I believe this was her third invitation and has not appeared. And due to her record and her inability to appear at our committee, we would um, <coughs> we have denied her license. Any other discussion? Alderman Duran, did you second the motion? I did. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. No other discussion? All those in favor? I oh, see we have to call the roll. Mm -hmm. Fifteen ayes. Motion passes. Item 5.3 is an RC by law and licensing to whom was referred RO number 140 of 1617 by the city clerk submitting various license applications and recommends denying a fermented malt beverage and Class C wine license application 3225 for <coughs> SAP Lee based upon the agent's record of violations related to the license activity and also the probation rules which prevent it Pre uh, prevent her from buying, selling, and possessing and consuming or being in the presence of alcoholic beverages and also based upon the other member of the LLC's failure to accurately reveal relevant convictions on his license application and his record of violations related to the licensed activity as a repeat law offender. Alderperson Holshue. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I report that the I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Under discussion? Is Alexandria Hernandez and Antonio Dion here? They are not here. We believe that they will come back to our committee when they have an agent that would qualify to be able to be given this license. But at this time, um, our committee did not feel that we could um, under the direction of our city attorney um, present them with this type of license. So we have denied this. Thank you for those comments. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll. Fifteen ayes. Motion passes. Item 5.4 is an RC by finance to whom was referred resolution number 121 of 1617 by Alderperson Wolf authorizing amendments to the terms of the development revenue bond series 2010 RCS Empowers Incorporated project and the execution of related documents and recommends that the resolution be passed. Alderperson Wolf. Thank you, Mayor. Make a motion to accept and adopt and pass resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll. Fourteen ayes, one no. Motion passes. Item 5.5 is an RC by law and licensing to whom was referred RC number 
235 of 1617 by law and licensing and general ordinance number 24 of 1617 by Alderperson Bellinger, repealing and recreating article 4 of the chapter 30 of the municipal code relating to sales of drug paraphernalia and repealing and recreating section 70-8 of the municipal code entitled adoption of state law regarding controlled substances and recommends that the ordinance be passed. Alderperson Holshue. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, we referred this back to our committee after discussion at our last um, council meeting, and it was sent back to our committee. <coughs> and despite the allegations that it did not reflect the statute, it does. It is not word for word repeat of the statute, but <coughs> rather takes provisions from multiple places and places them in one sing single location. And after discussion, our committee voted in favor of passing this. Thank um, we you. need a motion yet, Alderperson Holshue? Oh, I apologize. I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. And pass the ordinance. And pass the ordinance. Is there a second? Second. Okay, we have a motion on the floor. Under discussion, Alderperson Jose. Um, I'm going to vote against this because I think that the, the premise put forth for the the, the Passage of it, therefore, is a lie. If, if uh, the premise put forth was that it's to mirror the state statute, it does not mirror the state statute, and therefore the premise is a lie, and I'm going to vote against the lie. Thank you. Any other discussion? Alderperson Boren. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, at the meeting, were the other interested parties that appeared at the last council meeting uh, were, did they appear and were they in agreement with the committee's decision? Alderperson Holshue. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, the one establishment did have representation and he chatted with us and at the end of the <coughs> meeting, the, the um, hookah bar came and was there. There was no one um, else there that I can recall. And he agreed with the understanding knowing that um, because we have this all over the place, and bringing it all together into one area. We're, re we're not rewriting the, the, the law. We're just putting it all in one place. And he was uh, okay with that. Okay, thank you. Okay, next, Alderperson Donahue. Um, I just rise to a point of personal privilege. Um, I just really don't think that we advance our agenda or represent our citizens when we call people liars or tell people that things we don't agree with are lies. There can be honest disagreements among all of us, and there are a number of them, but I think in the, this is a civil body, not only in the sense of it represents civil government, but we need to be civil and have civil communications. And I just, I'm offended personally when I hear words like liar and lie. It's just, we can do better. Thank you for those comments. Alderperson Jose. Well, I'd just like to say that on November 8th, the, United, the majority of states in the United States said that they're tired of political correctness and people are, people's viewpoints are not going to be stifled anymore. And if I, if, I see, if I see a spade, I'm going to call it a spade. If I see a lie, I'm going to call it a lie. Is there any other discussion? The clerk, please call the roll. Thirteen eyes, two noes. Motion passes. Under ordinances, uh, item 6.1 will be referred to the Salary and Grievances Committee. Under matters laid over, item 7.1 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from the Sheboygan Area School District submitting the approved tax levy for the 2016-2017 school year. Alderperson Donahue. Thank you, uh, Mayor. I move that the... Um, uh, uh, communication be accepted and filed. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to other matters. City Attorney. 
I have no other matters. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. <laughs> They'll be referred to the Law and Licensing yeah. Committee. Oh, well, you need them. <laughs> it's submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31, 2017, June 30, 2017, June 30, 2018. It's an RO by the city clerk. And that'll go to the Law and Licensing Committee. Next, we have a contemplated closed session. Alder Percy, <coughs> Donahue. Um, I move to go uh, to uh, convene in closed session under the exemption provided in section 1985, sub 1, sub E of the Wisconsin statutes for competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session related to a development opportunity in the 600 block of North 8th Street. Second. Thank you for your motion and support. Would the clerk please call the roll for closed session. Fourteen eyes, one no. Uh, motion passes. We'll take a short three-minute recess and then reconvene. And I'd just like to let the viewers at home know that we will be adjourning in closed session, so this will end our broadcast for the evening. Thank you. <laughs>